Hi hey everyone, welcome to my Photoshop tutorial. Today I'm going to be teaching you how to make this Harry Potter font text. Now, first things first is you're going to be wanting the font to download. So we can go hop over to this website right here, which is a great website that has loads of fonts on. Um, now, I'll drop the link in the description bar for you to download. Now, if you're brand new to Photoshop and you don't know how to put fonts into your fonts folder, then you download it, you unzip it with whatever uh, software that you've got like I use WinZip 7 or something like that um, then you drop the file that's inside into your fonts folder which you can find by going to start control panel and then fonts and then drop it in here and then close it now once you've done that we're gonna open this up now let's hide the text now you can use any background you want I just found this background um, off a website on Google. Now if I bring the text back, now this text, I know what you're going to say, it doesn't actually go with this picture. Now I've just been playing around with it. The red uh, tinge was, I was playing around with a different photo and it went with it perfectly. Um, but this one, I'm just going to show you that you can change the red color to any color that you want to suit your backing picture. Now if we went to put the text down here, we change the uh, the red to like a blue instead or up here to an orange to suit the burning and stuff like that so it's really dynamic and you can really play around with your, what you want and have your own effects so let's just hide that now we're going to go over to the text tool which is on the left hand side and we're going to go up to the top i'm going to keep the size to 300 depending on the size of your picture at the time uh, this is quite a large picture so I'm just going to keep 300 and I might scale it down after and then we're going to go over to the font we're going to, we're going to find the font it's called Harry P you can type it in and it will automatically come up like that so that should be fine so let's start on this now I'm just going to type in Photoshop I'm going to put the color to the uh, white now all we've got to do is double click that layer that we just made. Now we're going to work on the layer style. Now here we're going to put the gradient overlay. We're going to change the colors. Uh, let's double click that, the black. We're going to change that to like a dark gray. And then change the white to a lighter form of gray. Click OK. Click OK on that one. Now we're going to keep everything the same just there. Now we're going to work from the top, so let's go to Drop Shadow. So we're going to put uh, Multiply, leave that on that, keep that to black. The opacity is going to be uh, 42. Angle, we're going to keep it uh, 40. Distance is going to be 3. Size is going to be 10. Then we're going to go to Inner Shadow. So let's change the Blend Mode Overlay. And the Opacity is going to be 100% on that one. The Angle is going to be 120. And take off uh, Use Global Light. Then we're going to put the Distance to 10. And the Size to 10. And we're going to change the Colour. Now you can follow me here or you can uh, change the colours that I'm going to give you to any colour that you want to suit your backing picture like I said earlier. So if you want to change it, change it now. Um, or if you want to follow me and you've got like a really sort of tinge picture, then this should suit it perfectly. So what I'm going to put in here is E to B6, B6 the light pink color like that click OK now we're going to go to inner glow uh, we're going to put the blend mode overlay we're going to change the color to E F C 1 B 5 click OK on that one put the opacity to 100% on that and keep the size to 5 then we're going to go to bevel and emboss now we're going to keep the style to inner bevel 
the technique is going to be chisel hard the depth is we're going to keep 200 on that one the size is going to be 32 and we're going to keep the soften all the way down the angle is going to be 40 so we change that the altitude is going to be 58 if yours ain't already 58 now the highlight mode is we're going to go to overlay I'm going to change that color and that color is going to be E 6 uh, 9 if I can find it 6 9B like that and the shadow shadow mode sorry is going to be linear burn and the opacity is going to be 100 percent and we're going to change the color on that and the color is going to be 611 616 then click ok i'm going to go to control change the range to 58 texture now the texture drop down menu I'm going to click on this rusty uh, pattern here now if you can't find it in yours you're going to go to the drop down menu right here to the arrow that's pointing to the right and you're going to click patterns which is just down here and you're going to click OK and it's going to put loads of patterns into this box right here and then you're going to click the rusty uh, rusty one here now let's just take that off now the scale is going to be 50 And then the depth is going to be 35. Like then we're going to go down to satin. Now it's going to go to linear burn blending mode. So let's just put that like there. The opacity is going to be 62. The angle is going to be 20. Distance is going to be 103. Size is going to be 54, and I'm going to change the color to 1B202D. Two, two, so a dark blue, like that. And that's it. And then you're going to click OK, and that's basically all you have to do. You've got your Harry Potter font text right here. Now, if you you can change it, just change it to like like that. Uh, we can scale it down. Control and T to scale it down, or put it sideways or that way. Any way you want. Click like that, or we bring it up a bit more and say like I said earlier if you want to change uh, the colors um, to whatever you're doing like to a blue or whatever you can double click that layer just go through all the things that we've changed and just change the color sorry about that uh, just change the color to what you want so you've got the pinks you can change to orange or blue um, to anything you need uh, so let's just go through them. you've got the bevel and emboss you can change these colors um, to blue to suit uh, the sea like in this picture right here but this is just to show you what you can create and all the stuff that you can do like that so let's put it proper size and tick like that and yeah so don't let this stop you can create whatever you want um all the different effects and stuff like that uh change the colors to suit your picture and i'll see you next time bye for now